So today we are going to cover very versatile revolvers. I've got five caliber groups ranging from 22 all the way up to 460. I'm going to go through these revolvers and what makes them so versatile. This is the single six. This is an older version. Um, some of the newer single, the, the Ruger, I think they make a, correct me if I'm wrong, single 10 or maybe even a single 12 that have more than just six as the capacity. But uh, this is your standard 22. And then it has the ability to swap out the cylinder to allow you to shoot 22 magnums through it. So I've got uh, three rounds here that I shoot through this gun. This is a 22 short. This is a 22 long rifle and then a 22 magnum. For plinking purposes, very fun, cheap gun. Um, it's not a gun you're gonna sit and shoot a lot of rounds through quickly like you know Ruger 1022 or even a um, you know, your semi-automatic 10 round pistol 22, loading them through the single action format is one by one and then ejecting them is one by one as well. So it's going to be something that, you know, it's good for kids, good to teach them really how single actions work. There's no firing unless you cock the hammer and then you pull the trigger and the gun's gonna go go off so this is a uh, kind of my entry level so fun gun inexpensive gun and 22 ammo is very versatile so next on the list is the Taurus Judge this is a gun that came out a little over a decade ago and has been very popular. It uh, it took off because really it was one of the only shotguns that you could buy in a pistol format, uh, multi-round uh, revolver format. This shoots 410 and 45 long colt. And what's nice is that gives you a very wide range of options to shoot. We've got your standard cowboy load, 45 long colt. We've got your critical defense. defense. Um, we've got your your bird shot, just plinking around. Maybe snake protection if you live in the south. Um, and then uh, we've got your PDX loads. These are actually very nice self-defense loads that uh, have I believe four copper discs followed by BBs. Very close range self-defense load that uh, packs a lot of punch in one shot. And then we've got your standard buck shot here, your triple out buck. I believe there's four approximately 38 caliber pellets in there. This is a five shot single or double action revolver. So you can see you could have a completely different round each time you pulled the trigger and have a completely different result, which makes that a very fun gun to shoot and makes it very versatile. As far as home defense, plinking, sitting at the range, uh, whatever it may be. Um, moving on, these are your standard 357s. This is a nice gun because it shoots both 357 Magnum and 38 Special. This was actually the first gun I ever bought, brand new. And the fact that I could shoot 38s back a couple of decades ago when I bought this gun, 38s were so inexpensive, and 357s were, weren't bad compared to today's, today's standards. The thing I liked about this gun is it is a seven shot revolver not many revolvers out there in the day 
back in, oh, I believe I got this in the late 90s, had a seven, seven shot capacity. The fact that it is single or double action, allowing you to use speed loaders with it, makes it very versatile. Um, I just have this here as an example. This is your single action 357, which uh, which allows you to shoot both 38 and 357. Obviously, not as versatile as a double action with seven rounds. Moving on, this is your Smith and Wesson model 629. 44 loads all by itself, 44 magnums, can be very versatile. You can get your standard <clears throat> uh, jacketed soft points, hollow points, critical defense loads, and they make them in 44 special, which is actually uh, more rare or harder to find than your 44 magnum rounds. Uh, 44 special does not really have much of a price advantage either, but the reason why this gun is on the list is it is versatile. It does shoot two different rounds, making it nice for lower recoil. Um, these critical defense rounds, and these are uh, <laughs> 2022, approximately 2023 prices. You can see a box of 20 here is uh, 3150 making that uh, very pricey but uh, I like the reason why I like these 22 I'm sorry 44 specials is there's not a lot of recoil if you're going to use this in a self-defense environment you do not need magnum loads you don't need to be putting holes through the whole house 44 special with the uh, the hollow point there is gonna is gonna take care of any threat that you may have. Uh, last on the list is one of the latest revolvers I picked up. I had a video of this just a short time back, my first time shooting it. Since I got it, I did add a nice um, adjustable magnification Burris scope that has amazing eye relief. I have not sighted it in. I'm looking forward to doing that. This is my Smith & Wesson 460 Magnum and this is a very versatile load. This gun is has, allows you to shoot 45 Long Colt which here's your standard cowboy load. Here's a critical defense 45 long Colt, which in a, I guess, uh, you know, defensive or home protection environment, that's going to be a, a, an excellent load. Once again, you're not going to be blowing holes all the way through the whole house. There's going to be very manageable recoil. Uh, next on the list is your 454 Casul. That was very appealing to me when I bought this gun, knowing that if I really wanted to shoot something hot, but not as hot as the 460, I could shoot the 44 Casul. Now, in today's prices, where you're not buying in bulk, and you're going to your standard gun store, the 454 Casul is not very economical. Um, obviously, this is a hunting round. 200 grain, but $50 for 20 of them, and it's well over $2 a round. That is more expensive than the 460 rounds that I have here. This is exactly $2 a round at $40 for, for 20 shots. And uh, this is really going to be an excellent hunting round for whitetail and even other larger game and that really wraps it up uh, so I've got five calibers and uh, that shoot five different rounds 
So if you're shopping for a firearm that you want to have versatility, be able to shoot something very soft and economical, and then put in a, you know, potentially very high power magnum load, um, I recommend exploring a revolver that gives you many different options. So I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. That was a hit for sure.